Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome His Holiness, the Stig. It used to be fun for me, I'd be down at pub or something, standing next to a couple of people saying, who do you think the Stig is? And I think, well, you're standing next to him, actually, mate. But, but you, you didn't say that. No, 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 <laughs> not even for free lager, I wouldn't say that. Perry <laughs> McCarthy overtaking Damon Hill in the Footwork MCO 41. Perry McCarthy challenges Irvine. Would you go back into F1? No, no, I've done my bit. I've, uh, when was that? I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> it all happens, yeah. yeah. It's, well, it's um, about three quarters of your book. <laughs> yeah, flat out, flat broke, 799, published by. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Formula One driver Harry McCarthy, better known as the Stig from Top Gear, to put the car through its paces whilst completing an Amazon order. The campaign was a huge success, and it generated an enormous amount of discussion in motoring forums. The stresses and strains on the cars are enormous. I mean, we're pulling around 3G under braking, 3G under acceleration, same thing with lateral corner forces. All in all, we have to be quite fair. Well, you always need luck, obviously, as your career shown. <laughs> and on behalf of the Rat Pack, we'd like to make a small presentation. Fellow Rodels, Perry McCarthy, Martin Donnelly, Mark Lundell and Johnny Herbert. Welcome to a very special edition of Motorsports World, because we're here at the world-famous Goodwood Festival of Speed. None other than Perry McCarthy, everybody. Perry McCarthy! Now, we're standing here at Old Hall Corner, which is a very challenging corner. And way back in 1984, I kind of failed to challenge a bit. But apart from that, no real drama. It's a fantastic result. I mean, we're just absolutely delighted. It is so special. It just makes you feel fantastic. Boy, did Perry McCarthy take advantage of this. Perry has been spectacular here. He is continually sliding closer to these walls than any other driver. really drive over the aircraft carrier? No, I actually would have been killed. Oh. Yeah. Richard was always proud that they took the mouthiest driver in motor racing and found a way to shut him up. 